A reading from Luke chapter 20. There came to him, that's Jesus, some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, and they asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, having a wife but no children, the man must take the widow and raise up offspring for his brother. Now, there were seven brothers. The first took a wife and died without children, and the second and third took her, and likewise all seven left no children and died, and afterward the woman also died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife will the woman be? For the seven had her as a wife. And Jesus said to them, The sons of this age marry and are given in marriage, but those who are considered worthy to attain to that age and to the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage, for they cannot die any more, because they are equal to angels and are sons of God, being sons of the resurrection. But that the dead are raised, Even Moses showed in the passage about the bush where he calls the Lord the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. Now he's not God of the dead, but of the living, for all live to him. Death is very much the final taboo in our society. It used to be said that you shouldn't talk about religion or politics, but go onto Twitter or go onto social media anywhere, and you can't move for discussions on politics or religion. Death is a somewhat a different matter. Death still remains a thing we don't like to talk about. It's not polite. But Christianity faces death squarely in the face. The the very symbol of the faith, the cross, is a symbol of death. It's a symbol of execution. Paul says, O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? Death is something Christianity boldly faces. Death is something which Christianity has defeated. Death is not for the Christian a taboo. Death for the Christian is a comma, not a full stop. Death is something we travel through. The Sadducees, that grouping who came to talk to Jesus, took rather a different view on all of this. The Sadducees were those who denied that there was a resurrection. They were those who only held to the first five books of the Old Testament, often known as the books of Moses, as their scriptures. So they come to Jesus and they raise the issue of death and they do so by asking a convoluted question. They're seeking to demonstrate how ridiculous this idea of life after death is. They want to gently mock the whole idea. And so this question about this wife who had all these husbands and everybody ended dead. But you can't laugh off the truth. That's not something which is possible. The truth is truth. Whether you laugh at it or not, it still remains. Now, Jesus does address their question very briefly. He goes to talk about marriage being an earthly affair and not a heavenly one. But he very quickly gets back to the nub of the issue, this question about death itself. And to do so, he goes back to one of the first five books of the Old Testament. He goes back to Moses himself, somebody that the Sadducees did at least hold with some regard. And he goes back to Exodus 3, 6, and the verse he's referring to reads, I am, this is God speaking, by the way, to Moses at the burning bush, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. I am the God of all these, he says. Now, this is significant. This is significant because the present tense is being used here. And note, by the way, how high Jesus' own view of the Scriptures is. For Jesus, every single bit of it is inspired, even the tense of the verbs. So he goes and says to these Sadducees, look, God is talking about these people who have died but he's talking about them in the present tense. They're not dead and gone. They are dead, but they go on. They are still alive 
to God. All are, as Jesus says, alive to God. Jesus says he's not, he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for all live to him. There is nowhere, nowhere, in other words, beyond the reach of God, even death itself. So in our society, death may be the final taboo. Death may be the thing about which we don't really want to speak. But it's something we all know. We will all, of course, experience death. But many of us have also experienced the sharp pangs that come with grief. Death is something that even if we ignore, still happens. And we're used to marking our life by the cradle and the grave. But Jesus is here teaching that there is more to death than simply death. Jesus is saying that all are alive to God. Jesus is saying that death is not the end of the matter. One of the great joys of Christianity is the removal of the sharp, bitter sting of death. Why? Because as we trust in Christ, as we follow Jesus, we follow one who, yes, died, but then was risen. That's the pathway that has been set for us. And as we place our trust in him, we too follow that path through death into eternal life as we one day join him.